Hey, what's up, everybody, movie lovers out there? How you doing? Welcome back to our channel. So today, we're going to be reviewing, actually, three movies. Um, our main topic's probably going to be Tomb Raider, but we've got three movies that we're going to be talking about reviewing today. And... We're going to start with, I guess, the first one that we watched, which is called Papillon. Now, this movie came out about three years ago. Um, it's an older film, I guess you would say. It's starring... Who is it starring? Charlie Hunnam. Charlie who? Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam. From... Uh, from King Arthur and... Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. He was in that? Oh, I didn't He's know. Like the guy. Uh, and the other guy that was in Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> you don't know names of anybody? I don't know names of nobody. What was his name? Arthur uh, McDunk. No, Remy I don't. Remy Malik? Is that his name? Remy Malik, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Who him. is an exceptional I love him. actor. He's, He's just great in everything he does. So, Papillon was really a decent film it was, was uh, a true story, it was too. based on actual events and it was very much for me an emotional roller coaster oh yeah um very, very dramatic movie I'm glad that i saw it um you know there was some really great acting in it it it, it really lets, lets you take a look at the way France treated prisoners back in what was it the 60s or the 50s the 30s the 30s wow it was uh, back in the 30s yeah, he was sentenced in 1931 that's right he was actually framed for a murder he did not commit and of course he wasn't completely innocent because he was a thief he was a professional thief right. but, but he commit the his own crew basically framed him framed him up for a murder that he didn't commit, that they actually committed, but he didn't and was not a part of. And this movie depicts his uh, time in prison and his many prison escape attempts and all of that stuff until finally he does actually escape, figures out a way to, to uh, you know, to get out of there. And then he actually ends up writing a book, which that's what this movie's actually based on, was the book that he wrote uh, by, uh, about his life. Now, he went back to France to have the book published, which he was still a wanted man in France. So it was kind of risky for him to do that. But he stressed that it was extremely important that his book be published in France because that's where he lived. I don't know if that's where he was from, but that's that's where he yeah, he lived at the time. Okay, so he was French. That's where he was from. Yeah. And it was very important to him to have that published in that country. And I think that was his motivation for that was initially to clear his name, to let it, to let and the I, country cuz the country the country disowned him. They never said where they sent him, aside from South America. I know at the very end of it, he ends up... French Guiana. In uh, Venezuela, but... French Guiana is where they sent him, where the prison okay. was. Never and he actually place. outlived that prison system. Um, oh, they shut it down. Yeah, they shut it down well before he died, which I think is actually kind of a cool little thing. Um, but um, based on a true story... Um, you know, like I said, he went back to France to have his, his memoirs published, I think, mostly to clear his name because the country literally disowned him. Yeah. And he lost everything. He lost his citizenship. He lost his woman. He, he lost everything that, that he had. The character that Remy Malik played was even worse because this guy was uh, a very rich man and he got caught uh which he was actually guilty of his crime he got caught forging um notes money notes i don't know what you'd actually call that but he was he was forging he was forging uh bills french bills i guess is what you would call them. um anyway um 
there's a really, really messed up part in the movie that really, really got got me. I mean, it really, it really, uh, it didn't disturb me. It just emotionally kind of hit right here, you know. And um, it's where, you know, Charlie Hunnam's character, Pap Papillon, asks him, you know, how is your woman doing? How's your how's your wife doing? And um, you know, or or something along those lines. And he replies, "Well, you were right. My appeal." Uh, there were problems with my appeal, so it didn't go through. But my wife is is doing just fine. In fact, she has just married my lawyer. And I thought that was really sad. Yeah. Because she wasn't willing to wait on him, and I I, I guess I can understand that because there was no chance of him. Well, yeah, his, coming uh, back. His appeals didn't work. Yeah. And um, he had a life sentence, so. Unless he escapes miraculously somehow, he's on that island until he dies. Yeah, very, very decent film. Very well done. Um, this guy that the movie was about, which is is his name, Papillon. That was an alias. I don't know if it ever revealed his actual name. Well, anyway. Um, that was just what he went by. He was a, an extremely tough dude. I mean, he spent seven years in solitary confinement, almost almost back to back yeah. and did not lose his mind and the warden even after his last stint came down and said you know i had to see this for myself because after five years in solitary people usually are dead they usually don't make it so this was a really rough prison they told the guys as they come in right from the beginning if you plan on escaping feel free to try at any time we would be happy to shoot you they had no qualms whatsoever in this prison system about executing prisoners. They didn't care. In fact, the warden at one point says, it's no benefit to us to keep you. It's no loss to us to execute you, to, to destroy you. And I just was like, wow, that's really... I mean, they really let you know he was in a rough, rough place. Yeah. Anyway... I give the movie two big thumbs up. It was very well done. The acting was superb in it. Everything about it was just it was uh, very, good. very, very well done. And I really enjoyed watching it. I rate the movie five stars. If you haven't seen Papillon yet, I know it's old. It's been out about three years. Uh, go pick up a copy and watch it and see what you think. The next movie we're going to be talking about is Chappaquiddick. Now, this is the story about... Senator Ted Kennedy, and he essentially drives off a bridge with one of his um, campaign workers in the car with him, and she unfortunately ends up drowning and dying. And the way he handled the situation at first was not good. I mean, he didn't report it to the police. He he kind of waited. He it was this big press media game to try and shift public opinion towards him so that he could still win the presidency if he chose to run, which he did try to run and he, he, was, he was actually voted out. Um, he was voted out by his own Democratic Party to, to run for president, to be their front runner. And um, this movie was, I would say it was just okay. Um, I don't even remember. The, I can't remember the guy's name that was in it. Jason Clark. Jason Jason Clark. That's right. I've I've got so much information in my head at times <laughs> that I just I just can't remember everything. Carter, and yeah. for you actors out there that watch YouTube, I am terribly sorry. It's it, it's nothing against you. I just have bad memory. So. Um, anyway, Jason Clark, and he's one of my favorite actors. I really like him. I like him in just about everything he's done. This, he was a total cunt in. Of course, that was his character. That was just That his was character. his character. He's not in real life, but I'm sure. But his character, he played it very well. And, um, uh, there was a lot of different factors going on. For me, though, it just didn't do it. I, it was, it, it was a movie my attention, and that, I don't know yeah. There was a lot. I feel like I've seen that type of movie so many times. While being a very interesting movie and a very interesting role, 
I I have to say that if you didn't see this film, you didn't miss anything. It's um, it's a movie that we've seen multiple times. I mean, any time that there's a movie done about a politician, it to me it felt like Vice. It did. It just it, it felt like very much like movie. that movie. Yeah. And it, just different people. Movies about politicians usually tend to all be the same and I didn't see anything new or different and if you end up watching it I'm sure you will agree that you that there's nothing new or different about this film. It was just a it was kind of a almost a noir drama. Yeah. Really. Um as far as rating goes, I would probably give it uh two and a half stars. Um it was an okay movie. It just wasn't great, you know. Yeah. And like she said, it didn't hold her attention whatsoever. So there was some boring stuff in it. Now, I don't really recommend, like I said, this movie. Um, I'm not going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm just going to say that it, it, it was a movie. And if you missed it, you didn't miss anything. So uh, it's kind of kind of in the realm of in-between. I, w yeah. I would think, but I, I, it's not something I enjoyed watching. Um, however, uh, now we get to our main thing, which was Tomb Raider. I'm not exactly sure who all the actors' names of who all was in this movie. The one thing I can say about Tomb Raider is this. God, another Tomb Raider movie. Oh my God. And not only that, but it was worse than the previous Tomb Raider movies. It was. It wasn't Tomb Raider. They changed the they changed Laura Croft so much that it wasn't her. Where are the double Ds? <laughs> Is that all you were worried about? Well, it's not just that. No double Ds. No 45s. Oh, that's true. She didn't have her. She didn't have her 45s. And at the end of the movie, she gets 9 millimeters. Um, fans of the video game are going to be probably pretty disappointed if you see this movie. Maybe you already have seen this movie. I know that a lot of the game studios have changed the character to look like this new Laura Croft. And I think that's a colossal mistake because I'm a fan of the iconic Laura Croft. Um, not to, that's not to say that the Angel, Angelina Jolie movies were any good. They weren't. No, they were pretty bad. Um, they were they were trash and they were terrible. I saw most of them in theaters and I was extremely disappointed with them. them. I thought there were three of them. I'm pretty sure there's only two. Maybe I hallucinated the last one. Probably. But anyway, this one is not only another Tomb Raider movie but it was actually the worst one to date in my opinion not very interesting pretty predictable the acting eh, was okay the story plot sucked and i the one thing i did appreciate was instead of having all this fanciful crap they actually kind of sort of made it more plausible to where it was like Myths and magic and all this stuff, but there's a reasonable explanation behind it. Right. You know, it wasn't actual monsters and, and, and just a bunch of craziness and, and all this stuff. So I appreciated that fact. Me too. That they stayed along those lines. However, I will say, I think that the Angelina Jolie movies stayed along those lines as well. No. Not Did they really. not? No, they okay. were pretty outrageous. There was monsters in okay. them. I think she runs into a vampire at one point. It seems to me that with these movies, aside from the video games, now let's just separate these movies for a minute from the video games entirely, uh, making the movies very much feel like Indiana Jones as a female. And I just do not, I'm just not a fan of these films. I, I don't think they're interesting. I don't think that they're entertaining. It's literally two and a half hours of, of boredom. There's nothing interesting about them. The dialogue, all of it is just crap. And that's my opinion. Yeah. I don't recommend anyone seeing it. I give it major thumbs down. <laughs> because I just, 
like I said, I'm just not a fan of these films. Uh, the original games, I liked, but uh, these movies, no, they don't do it for me. Anyway, I'm going to award this movie... One star. One star. Yeah. One star. One star. If you didn't see Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, you didn't right. miss anything. Um, save your money. But if you feel like you just have to and must check it out because you're a fan of Tomb Raider, then by all means. But I'm pretty sure you're going to be disappointed. However, if you did see it and you weren't disappointed, I'm glad that you enjoyed the movie. Absolutely. Um, no two people are alike and no two people are going to agree on the same movie. We just didn't enjoy the film at yeah. all. So, anyway, that's our review for those three movies. Um, the only one that I would really recommend that you check out is Papillon. And other than that, the other two you can miss. <laughs> um, essentially, in my opinion, because they're, they're not worth a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you get duds, but, it you know. Happens. There's probably people out there that like these movies. I'm Who knows? Sure. It might be somebody's favorite movie. Could be. But anyway, if we if if it is and you love these movies, then we totally respect your opinion as you're entitled to your your opinion. And um I'll just enjoy. say I'm I'm glad that you <laughs> enjoyed enjoy. the movie. I'm I, I really am. I can't imagine someone that would, but if you did, then I am extremely happy that you 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 got your money's worth. Um Anyway, we got some more movie reviews coming out. One of my all-time... I can't say favorite yet because I haven't seen it. That's the thing. But we got a movie coming up that I've been dying to see and I've heard a lot of bad crap about it. So we're going to see how good it is. And that movie is called Us. It's basically oh, yeah. about a family that gets basically murdered and replaced by themselves. I don't know how that's going to work. But we'll see. I've wanted to see it ever since I saw the preview. However, like I said, I have heard a lot of bad things about it. A lot of people have said it was crap. It was no good. It doesn't stand up to what it was supposed to be. So we will see. And we will catch you on that review yes. on another video next time. And until then, peace.